Hey, how's it going? In fifth grade, I had the student teacher, right? Student teachers are pretty much university students studying to become teachers. They go to some school and are assigned to an actual teacher to get some experience teaching children. My student teacher was probably in her mid-twenties. She was Asian and she was super nice to us kids. You know, she was just super cool. Yeah, but she's not important. We're here to talk about the teacher she was assigned to. My fifth grade teacher, Mr. D. Whoa, look at this man right here. Look at this amazing hairline. Check out them huge muscles. Ugh. All the other teachers in the school would usually wear something formal to work. But I remember this dude always coming in with his extra small white t-shirts. Gotta show off them pecs, you know? Wow. Mr. D? More like Mr. D's, am I right? Now, Mr. D was a special guy. I've learned a lot about life from him. I remember we were learning about space one day, and he legit told the class that the sun spun around the earth. Just like the moon. I don't know if he was trolling or not to this day. He was also super lazy and didn't really try to get to know his students that well. It actually seemed like he got hired the day before. So why do you want to become a teacher, Mr. D? The sun revolves around the earth. Yo, you know what? I'm sorry I even asked. You start tomorrow. We had this project where we had to build our own windmills with things around the house. I made mine out of tinfoil and popsicle sticks. And to be honest, it looked like ass, but hey, at least it worked. So we had to present it in front of the class and talk about how we built it and what materials we used. So I'm up there in front of the class and like usual, I get nervous because talking in front of 20 people was kind of scary. Uh, hi, so this is my windmill. Uh, I, I made it out of tinfoil. And yeah, and popsicle sticks. <sighs> Just sit down. Wait, what? This dude interrupted me in the middle of my presentation and told me to sit down. I think he thought I was being lazy and unenthusiastic about my work or something. Damn, bro, how are you gonna embarrass me like that? At the end of grade 5, I thought that I finally seen the last of Mr. D. But nope, after grade 5, he became the school gym teacher. So for the next four years of elementary school, every time I had gym class, I got to see the most beautiful teacher in the whole school. One day, he was teaching the class how to play handball. Alright, listen up, children. You take three steps, right? And on the third step, you either pass the ball to another player or take a shot at the goal. Like this. One. Two. Three! Ah! Holy shit. This guy just went super try-hard mode, showing us a demonstration. That was crazy. He hit the post too. What a guy. He looked like an angel in mid-air though. He literally did the same thing in every game we played. Baseball, soccer, dodgeball. He was also one of the coaches of the cross-country team. In my elementary school, our cross-country team would practice running around the neighborhood. We'd have a route that we had to follow that was 3 kilometers long, and yeah, there were multiple coaches watching us at different points of the route to make sure we weren't cutting through different streets taking shortcuts. Some coaches would actually run with us to make sure we don't stop to walk, which is really fucking hard cause yo, at like the 2k, 2.5k mark, that's when ya boy started getting buzzed. I usually run with another teammate, and everyone is usually walking around this area of the route. That's when most coaches come and are like, Hey man, let's go, woo! Trying to encourage us and shit. I had no idea how they did it, man. These coaches can run this whole route straight without getting tired. Crazy. But yo, this dude, Mr. D, he's chilling in his car the whole time watching for any cheaters out here. Sees us walking. This man comes out of his car and starts running next to us as if he'd been running this whole time. All like, come on guys, this is so easy, let's go. Like, bro, I seen you just get out of your car, don't pretend you've been running this whole time. I <sighs> uh, still look like an angel though.